welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to bring in a JPEG from Google or something that has a background that does not have a transparent background and how to clean it so I'm just gonna show you guys right now I already have this image uploaded from Google so I'm gonna add it to my canvas and I wanted to show you guys how it comes up so if you were to cut this in Cricut Design Space, it would cut it around here, like the rectangle. It would not cut around many. So what you would need to do is I'm going to go back and re-upload it and we are going to clean it. But I'm going to show you the correct way to clean it. Okay. So now I want to make sure that I have the correct file. Here she goes. So here you really can't tell that she has a background. Um, I usually um, click on complex and then hit continue. So now you can tell that she has a background. The average person, and of course this is an automatic here if you have Cricut Access. If you do not have Cricut Access, it will not allow you to do the automatic background check, um, background remove. I said check. Sorry about that. So if I click on this and I'm going to show you why this is not the correct way to do this because it's going to remove more than what you want it to remove. So I'm going to click on it. So now once I click on it, you see that, you know, most of the lines in here are also inside her eyes are also removed. So I feel like, you know, if you click on restore, you can go one by one and restore the things that you want to restore. But in my opinion, that takes way too much time. So you can pretty much click on it and it, it would restore. Okay. But if you don't want to do that, you want to make sure that, um, Okay, I think I restored everything. So this is how it would look if it was restored. Um, let me just apply it. And now you will see that she is ready here to be uploaded. And I'm just going to set her here and I'm going to add her to the canvas as well. So now you can see that she is clean, right? And ready to be you know, to cut. So what's going to happen is it's going to cut around mini and not around the box. So let's go back and re-upload another one and I'm going to show you how to do that without um you know restoring some of the the back um some of the areas, okay? So what I do is usually I'll just click on the box itself and you'll see automatically this is the manual part. If there was any other pieces that needed to be um, removed, like let's say if I click on that, it would it would you know be able to erase that. So if I wanted to erase that, I could. And if I said I didn't want the tail, right? I can definitely remove the tail because I know that th that tail won't cut. Let's just revert uh, a little bit. So pretty much, you are able to clean. Um, this oh you can just simply click on it and then you'll be doing the cleaning as possible let's add her her tail back okay so I'm gonna add her tail and then I'm gonna select to remove around the tail just so that it could only be the tail right so let's go back so I can go back and not do all of that complex Continue. Here's the background. I'm simply going to click on this and then I'm going to apply and continue. And then I'm going to do the print and cut. If you just did the, the, the cut image, this would be if you wanted a back, a back end for it. Like let's say if you was going to layer it with other cardstock. Um, but you probably don't even need to do this because I can show you guys really quick what you um, could do. So let's bring this back in. So I didn't do another one because it's the exact same thing. And here she goes. She looks so, so, so pretty. So this one would be one that you would not be able to use um, because it has the background. It would just cut 
the square. Okay, so we're going to delete this one. But let's say that we wanted to do an offset, right? Because we wanted to layer it with cardstock to give it dimension. Hey okay, guys, so right now I am going to do an offset. I'm going to delete one of them. And then I'm going to bring this one in and do an offset. So this is what you would do if you wanted to like layer it with different color cardstock. And you simply hit that and then you can change the color to whatever color you want and then you will have her and this would be what you would use as your other cardstock now let's say if you wanted to you know do another one you can go to offset again apply do this in blue so now she would have this and she'll look like this when you layer her really pretty Okay, guys, so that is it, guys. This is just a quick tutorial how to remove a background on an image that has a background in Cricut Design Space. If you have any other further questions, please leave them down below. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.